Yep, it's that time of the year again. Time to head out to the Elk River and do some fishing for trout. Um, it's about two hours from home. Drive up to Campbell River, turn left, and out the Gold River Highway a ways. And uh, stay at Buttle Lake. It's a beautiful spot to stay and uh, close to the fishing, and the fishing is good. And I'm going up there this year with Shannon, another bowler owner. Uh, she's from the mainland, and she likes fly fishing too, so we're going to see if we can catch a lot of fish. I promised her she's going to catch fish. A little bit of a blustery day out here, but we are all hooked up, and we're ready to head to the Elk River and do some fishing and some camping. All right. First stop in town is the Fern and Cedar Brew Pub for some supplies, and then we're going to get on our way. Got the supplies and we're ready to go, right Shannon? Awesome. And we're on the Mid-Island Highway, northbound to Campbell River. It's about uh, just a little over an hour to get to Campbell River, and from there about another half an hour to um, Buttle Lake. And there we'll drop the trailers off and head up to the Elk River, which is about another 15 minutes away from the campsite, so it's really nice and close. In no time at all, we're in Campbell River. Apologies for the noisy microphone. Um, I don't know what was going on with it on the trip. So at this point, the uh, the audio got really, really bad. So um, I'll just give you a, a bit of information here. Up ahead, we're going to turn left and turn left onto uh, Highway 28, the Gold River Highway. drive out on the Gold River Highway is really nice. It's uh, really scenic, windy. Um, you go past lots of nice little lakes, past uh, the Campbell, Campbell Lakes, and some really nice views, and through Strathcona Park. Hello. It was uh, Monday on a long weekend when we traveled up to, uh, to fish the elk, so Lots of traffic on the road for the first long weekend of the spring. Lots of trailers, lots of campers. But everybody was going home when we were going fishing, so no problem for us. And off to the right here as we head out of Campbell River was the home of uh, Roderick Haig Brown, a famous uh, conservationist, writer, and wrote tons and tons of books about fly fishing, so really well known in the fly fishing circles. traveling through Strathcona Park and we got about 10 minutes left in our trip. And we got about 10 minutes left here. We're going to be taking a right shortly heading across the bridge and then uh, Buttle Lake is soon after that. Coming up on the right is Strathcona Park Lodge.
And here we are. We're about two kilometers from Buttle Lake, just uh, about to turn onto the bridge that crosses the uh, crosses between the Buttle and the Campbell Lakes. Uh, we're almost there. And here we have Buttle Lake to the left and Campbell Lake to the right. And here we are, turning into the Buttle Lake campsite. The road to the campgrounds paved in for the first uh, oh, couple hundred meters and then turns to gravel. May or may not be good at any given time. Uh, always some potholes and always good to go slow. Just a quick check-in at the information kiosk to make sure our campsites are reserved, and they were, and also to check on the status for campfires, and even though fire danger was high, campfires were allowed, so that was great. All right, campsite's got my name on it. road was a little bumpy, but uh, took it slow and uh, everything was just fine. The Buttle Lake Campgrounds uh, got about 80 sites for a variety of, of uh, camping options, tents, trailers, you name it. It's pretty, pretty basic. It's a BC Parks uh, campsite. Um, it's got uh, some potable water pumps. It's got uh, pit toilets. But uh, sites are nice and clean and a um, uh, mix of shade and sun. Uh, re re really nice place to spend a bit of time. And we made it to the campsite and we're just backing in. And Shannon's pulling in just across the lane. Okay, we're here. That should be far enough back. Nice campsite, fire ring, picnic table. Time to hit the river for a few hours. It was super, super windy the first day. Here I am tying on my uh, little orange uh, egg pattern. Uh, I find those work really well this time of year. And uh, egg patterns, nymphs, and uh, dries too. Although it's really, really windy here a lot of the time. The wind comes up the uh, up the valley, so a lot of times fish and dry flies is pretty difficult. But um, but if you do catch it when the wind is down, um, dries are still a good option here. There we go. And there's Shannon downstream putting some casts in the water.
and you can see the way the wind's blowing the, the line there and, and hear the noise in the, in the microphone. So yeah, it was super, super windy. Tough to get decent casts, but you know, we persisted. So I want to check out a couple of holes up on this side. And I'll put some music in here because you guys don't need to listen to the wind as I walk upstream. Beautiful river to fish. It's um, lots of gravel, easy to wade through. Uh, there's some deep spots, but some nice pools, and just the scenery is absolutely gorgeous, even with the wind. I think that mountain in the distance is Elkhorn Mountain, but uh, I could be mistaken. Just up the river, got the first fish of the afternoon, a nice little rainbow. And the fish this time of year are uh, spawning rainbows, so there's lots of rain spawning rainbows and also lots of cutthroats going after the eggs. Landed some, lost some, all in all, a good start to the trip. What did I say, Shannon? You said we'd catch fish. You said there's no way we couldn't not catch fish. Exactly, <laughs> and what's happened? We've caught fish. There you go. <laughs> and after a few hours of successful fishing, Time to get back to the campsite and uh, relax and uh, get ready for tomorrow. A fire, Nanamo bars, special coffee. Great way to spend the evening. So that was day one done. Uh, good start to the trip. Um, I didn't film a lot during the trip because, well, it's just I'd rather be fishing than filming. Um, so I'll put together something in the near future to show you uh, the rest of the days. It'll probably be a real short one of a bunch of different clips, but it was a super, super good trip and a lot of fun with Shannon. Thanks for watching.